Hello there, let's set the mood in our ethics subject by watching this very short video. It will put your morality to test. <laughs> morality agad. Perhaps it will uh, test how good you are at decision making and it will also somehow show or reveal a glimpse of what type of a person you are okay, and enhance your uh, the analytical sides of you. Okay, so I hope you pay attention. This is a situational video uh, which will give you three options from which you're going to choose from. And of course, incorporate explanation uh, to your choices. Okay, so pay attention. It's just short, a minute and 37 second video. A runaway train is heading towards five workers on a railway line. There's no way of warning them. But you're standing near a lever that operates some points. Switch the points, and the train goes down a spur. Trouble is, there's another worker on that bit of track, too. But it's one fatality instead of five. Should you do that? Many people think the right thing to do would be to switch the points, to sacrifice one to save five, since that produces the best outcome possible. Now imagine the train heading for the workers again. This time it can only be stopped by pushing a very large man off a bridge. His great bulk would stop the train, but he'd die. Should you do that? Most people say no. But why not? Both thought experiments are cases of sacrificing one to save five. What the trolley problem examines is whether moral decisions are simply about outcomes or about the manner in which you achieve them. Some utilitarians argue that the two cases are not importantly different from each other. Both have similar consequences, and consequences are all that really matter. In each case, one person dies, and five are saved. The best option in each harrowing situation. But lots of people say they would switch the points, but they wouldn't push the man off the bridge. Are they simply inconsistent, or are they onto something? it's just a short video I hope you paid attention to it you can always go back uh, to the clip or to the video um, but don't worry because I'm going to summarize or present to you uh, the situations okay so here's the catch it's entitled the to trolley problem and there's a train coming down the railroad and the problem is that it's actually going to bump into five workers five men and it says in the video that there was no way of warning okay take note that uh these are just made up they do not necessarily represent something in re in reality because in reality um a train does have um a blowing horn and that's actually as a signal or can serve as a warning pero sabi dito sa video uh, walang way para i-warn yung limang workers na paparating yung train pero diba in reality can always blow the horn also that the men can actually see what's coming at umalis na lang sila doon para makaiwas sa discrash after in this video there was no way of warning daw and we all know that trains are programmed mechanically so there's no way to stop it i think that is um way better to say it i actually can actually have here notes ayan so ang situation natin may paparating na train may mababangga siyang uh, limang workers pero may isang tao standing next to a lever so if you can recall your basic science yung lever natin the pulley yan yung mga tools natin uh, so may lever doon na kapag switch niya yung point yung train ay magre-reroute into another line or into another lane at doon sa pagre-reroute -re niya iisa lang ang mababangga niya so if you were the man standing next to the lever are you gonna switch the point para instead of the train bumping into the five men and killing them it will just bump into one man and kill pa rin. pero sabi sa video at least isa lang yung mamamatay so that's your first option and then the second one is that 
um, uh, there are people uh, over the over the train or at the top of what's this? Yan over the bridge in the bridge. So kapag ka uh, tinulak mo yung uh, matabang lalaki, it could actually stop the train. Uh, so mas save mo yung lima pero mamatay yung itutulak mo off the bridge. Pero what difference does it make when you just switch the point so that the train will reroute? Kasi papatayin mo lang din naman yung SH and it's actually just the same. The consequence is just the same when you uh, push uh, the big man to fall off the train. So yun yung second option and the third option is to not move at all. So hahayaan mo na lang na mag-push through yung train doon sa original uh, route niya and bump into the five men. So, what are you gonna do if you were the person standing to the lever? Are you uh, gonna switch the point para isa lang yung mabangga? Or are you, are you not gonna switch it uh, para mag-push through yung train at mabangga yung limang workers? Or uh, itutulak mo yung malaking lalaki doon sa itaas para mag-fall off the bridge at ma-stop niya yung train from coming over. Okay. So, I, I just want to 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 see a glimpse of who you are by your answers. Okay, so let's make it clear muna. Option 1, um you're gonna switch points so that the train will just kill one person instead of five. Second option, push the man off the bridge so it stops the train. Pero pushing that big man means killing him then. And then third option, you are not um, going to do anything at all. So, hahayaan mo lang na the train pushes through its original route, bumping into the five men and killing them. Okay. So, let's see. And I'm so excited to know your answers.